think during the COVID pandemic, so much has been said about your well-being when it comes to your health and the vaccines are helping with this. But this morning, we want to talk about your financial well-being. New data from the research group Financial Health Network says 167 million Americans are not financially healthy. The numbers are highest for women and black Americans. If you're not financially healthy, it means you have little cushion with your money if economic conditions worsen. Joining us this morning with a financial checkup is Andrea Mall now from the Minnesota Credit Union Network. Good morning to you, Andrea. Good morning. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. How do people go about gaining control of your finances day to day and year to year? Well, really, the first steps is knowing how much money you're bringing in and how much you're spending, then making some financial goals based on that information. You know, if you really feel out of control, sit down with someone at your credit union or your financial institution to see how you can get back on track. I mean, this can be anything with just from, you know, simple budgeting advice or possibly refinancing a loan or consolidating debt really to help you to get those, you know, day to day and monthly finances on track. And Andrea, we know this pandemic has hit people very hard, um, certain groups more than others. Uh, job losses, as we mentioned, among women, especially women of color. Uh, can you talk to us about the best way to, to sort of to handle that now at this point and, and to prepare for when this happens, a financial shock happens? Right, well, really the best way to be prepared is to have emergency savings. Um, you know, if you didn't need your stimulus money for day-to-day -day expenses, this is a great opportunity to put some of that money aside in an emergency savings account. You know, and every little bit helps. You know, we have members that, you know, save $5 a week or $25 a month um, using automatic transfers or direct deposit. Just getting into that regular savings habit and paying yourself first is really the best way to prepare. And you know, if an emergency happens and you don't have that savings, the important thing is to be proactive, you know, ask for help. There's a lot of uh, emergency loans or special payment plans that you might not be aware of that can help you bridge through a difficult time. And really, sometimes you might just need to talk to someone who maybe understands financial planning a little better than you might and help you formulate some of those plans and those secrets and those places and ways to cut. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you talk about this idea of financial freedom, what does that what does that mean? Well, really, it's, it's kind of what you talked about at, at the introduction. You know, it's about having control over your day to day and month to month spending. It's having the capacity to really withstand a financial emergency, um, having goals and also, you know, having um, choices with your money. You know, it's really not about how much money you have. It's more about what you do with your money and how you feel about it. Mm -hmm. And then we can follow up with how credit unions have helped during the pandemic. What can you tell us there? Oh, absolutely. So Minnesota credit unions really have played um, a big role during the pandemic. Everything from reducing fee for, fees for members, offering skip payments, um, really helping small businesses in their communities with the Paycheck Protection Program, providing homeowners mortgage relief. And this is all while continuing to you know, provide access to their members for regular financial services, kind of uh, retooling how they provide financial education and giving back to their communities. You know, credit unions were founded on this basis of people helping improve their financial lives. And financial well-being is at the heart of what we do all the time. The pandemic just really amplified that. Right. Andrea Molnow with the Minnesota Credit Union Network. Thanks so much for being with us this morning. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.